Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I have one apartment I'm touring today. That's it. I toured so many yesterday, and there were some good ones. So I just decided I'll tour this one, then I'll just make a decision because I feel like these were some solid options. I don't even want to tour more. I feel like that's enough. So this one I'm touring, I've been to this building before, but they have a very unique unit available. They didn't have the other time I toured it a couple of years ago. And yeah, it's, it's further away from where I'm currently at, but it's also a good area. So we'll see. And then I'm gonna get lunch with Sarah Dici and hopefully have some time to edit a vlog this afternoon. Okay, here's a look at this unit. I got a really quick video. You walk right into this office in here. It's actually a two-story apartment, which is pretty cool. And then over in here is the bathroom. Love that it has natural light. Like that's pretty rare for an apartment. Uh, the finishes are pretty cool. Not really my fave, uh, but you know, it's modern, of course. Like it's definitely nice. And then over in here, the bedroom, it's super bright at this time of day. The polished concrete is kind of cool and it's a good size, good amount of storage. And then going back down the hallway is a staircase to the second floor. So this is so crazy. I've never seen an apartment in LA that has two, it's more like a townhouse. Up here, it is super bright. I will say it was smaller in person than it looked like in the photos, but obviously like really good for a living room. Love the lighting. The floors were interesting. They seemed kind of damaged from the sun, but they were cork. And so you can see where there was a rug, maybe the sun bleached the other areas but that's because it's super bright in here which is awesome and then there's this whole balcony which feels pretty private actually so cool like it's a very good size so that is this apartment it is the last one that i looked at and then i was like all right time to decide okay guys i toured the apartment didn't get a chance to vlog in between and just had lunch with sarah dici I'm so glad she lives in LA now. Like, it's so fun to see her. And now I'm like, oh my God, we live in the same city. Like, I just love that. All right, so the second place I did think it was really cool, but the building is not, I don't know. They just don't seem very on it in terms of the management and the reviews are not as good. But it is so cool that there's like that little outdoor space. It definitely has more room for filming and it isn't a good walkable area. I have this dream of living walking distance to at least like, one friend. I just think that would make it so much more fun. I, I live for a last minute hangout. I love it. I mean, I love playing things too, but I love just knowing like just having a person to be like, hey, want to go get coffee or whatever, or go on a walk. Obviously that's a big fun draw to the other area, but that was a really cool unit. The price was the same as some of the one bedrooms I've seen. Like it's kind of tough to decide. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been a stressful day and I haven't vlogged the half of it and I'm glad I don't want to put all of it online, but I did need to actually finally make a decision and more things were coming into play. But at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? The one that really felt the best to me was the first one that I toured. That one, I mean, yeah, there are some things that aren't like perfect about it, whatever, but to me, it felt like the best value for the price. All the other ones were a lot more. And the last one I looked at today, although that was a really cool unit, certain things about it, like the fact no one is ever there to answer a question, I was just like so confused about that. I don't know about that. And the finishes weren't really my favorite. The flooring honestly looked really like kind of messed up. The cork flooring, uh, not a big deal. Again, that was a really cool unit, but it's just like the area was good and walkable, but I don't think I even really know anyone anymore that lives in that area. And yes, you can meet new people and stuff, but I'm just like, to me, that is a big thing of enjoying this city in particular. I'm like, I don't wanna have to drive 20, 30 minutes all the time. Like a lot of the time, yeah, sure. But it's nice to not have to do that have stuff you can walk to and it just feels more like I honestly want to stay in a bubble I want to stay in a neighborhood bubble and leave it from time to time but not feel like I constantly have to to see anybody that's the thing I'd like to avoid I made a decision they're gonna put the apartment live at 7 30 so I can like apply and get it and yeah now I'm gonna edit my vlog 
Good morning, everybody. It is Friday and I finally decided on an apartment. There were so many good ones. I really liked like half of them I liked, but each of them, there was like one thing where I was like, oh, I guess that would be a, a sacrifice, whatever. The one I ended up picking was the very first one I saw, the one that is a corner one bedroom unit. It's actually a lease takeover. So the lease is up in January and then I have the option to renew it, which is kind of cool in case for some reason I want to move again, but that would kind of suck to move again. But like, what if I find a place to buy, you know? So I was like, that's kind of cool. Um, although obviously it would be nice to not move again, but I actually didn't sign the lease yet, but I put down the deposit and like secured it so no one else can get it, but I do plan on signing it. Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night a little bit worried like, wait, I don't think I have room for my dining table and it doesn't have a lot of storage. So I contacted that one, that townhouse style one that I saw, but they don't have EV parking. And honestly, that is a deal breaker. So I figure this one bedroom one, even though it might be a little tight, like I might have to sell my dining table that I do love, but but it is the best price. It was the least expensive of all of them by a lot. And also like say it does feel like too little of space. I could figure something else out at the end of January, although I don't want to do that. But like if I really felt the need to. So that's why I went with that one. I felt like the lighting was so good. I can walk to hang out with Lauren and Matt and Chester, which is of course really cool. I can walk to a ton of restaurants and stuff the area directly surrounding it isn't super cool but with within a a, a, sh a decent walk i can get to a bunch of stuff which is great all right i got my vlog up i sent over all the documents to secure my apartment now i'm gonna go get lunch with my friend laura Lai, um in west hollywood love how ubers here are so much cheaper than seattle like literally half the cost i don't know why they are but it's awesome Hi guys, I am exhausted. I just got back from, well, it was lunch and then me and Lorelai just walked around, got kombucha, we're just hanging, catching up. Um, I pretty much decided this week, week I was not working on any like main channel content because I just wanted to not settle here again, but like figure out finding a place and also, you know, see people I haven't seen in a minute. Anyway, and mission accomplished. It's now Friday at 5 p.m. I could literally fall asleep. I might. Um, I might go see a couple friends tonight, but I honestly am so tired. Guys, I am going to get up. I'm going to meet up with Aaron and Lucy. I haven't seen them in months. I haven't seen Lucy in like a year. If you guys don't know Lucy, I've known for so long. We were roommates at one point and yeah, she's awesome. And Aaron, you guys probably remember, he's been in vlogs. everyone yeah i'm wearing this jacket again let's just pretend i'm not didn't expect it to be like cloudy and i only brought this one sweater and i do love the sweater but uh i just wear it a lot in vlogs i realized <laughs> but nothing wrong with that right like i don't need to be wearing something new every day i'm about to head to the airport i'm flying back up to seattle i got upgraded i strategically on days like this, I just like wait to eat breakfast at the lounge. I like eat all the airport food on days that I travel. So I'm getting pretty hungry. I love a good airport breakfast. The Delta Sky Club at LA, super nice now. I'll show you guys. Um, let's go. I probably showed you before, but yeah, let's go. Back at the townhouse, weird to see it kind of empty, but not quite fully empty. I am so tired. I had some coffee this morning, but like not the regular amount that I have, like probably not enough. So it's 3 p.m. So I don't wanna have coffee now, but yeah, I have a couple things I have to grab here. Let's cancel my gym membership. Anyway, just a few random things I had left here. This cord I need for my projector and I love that thing, so we're taking it. 
I'm sorry we can't get to the phone right now. We're either at I just wanted to cancel my membership because Fob is returned. Hopefully they just accept that because I wasn't able to get a hold of anyone because it's Saturday, but I stopped at Trader Joe's and got a couple of snacks. Um, Monica and Jason want to go wine tasting with the dogs and get dinner, so we'll go do that. <laughs> Monica put these beds here for them. Oh. Look how cozy they look. Yes. Oh, you guys are going to have a good time. Hi, yes, Bean. Oh, these dogs are road trip ready. That's so nice. These beds are so cozy for them. Yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. Hi, cow. Hey, cow. Lily's so like nervous poor girl. She does not know what's going on. So day one We are going to try and get all the way to Redding, California. Monica brought me some coffee hit the road Let's go dogs. It's gonna be a long day like a 12-hour day probably. Okay, so here's the agenda for the day We're gonna have to stop five times. It says we'll get to Redding at 5 p.m. It's not so bad, but we'll see if that is actually the case First stop. left of driving today all right vlog mm -hmm. shelby needs to man this because if it falls over i'll cry okay i'll hold it <laughs> it is safe here with me we made it to our hotel and the dogs are having such a great time get her to jump Woo! <laughs> let's go take them to run around we've been walking them at every supercharger stop <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> He's actually going crazy. <laughs> Kettleman City stop. This one's cool because it has a little dog park and also some little shops. I may, I want to get some fruit or something. Rat dogs. We're getting close. I think we're still like 300 miles away though. <laughs> Such a funny stop. It's all like Western themed. Got a charcuterie board. We've made it to like the most northern part of LA. So now we're like two hours to Palm Springs. Yeah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Um, today or tomorrow, if possible, 202. Okay. Um, my driver's license number is a Washington one. Is that okay? All right, we got electricity set up, renter's insurance, last thing is internet. Very important. Let's give Spectrum a call. Hi, David. Um, I just needed to... I just got a dad church smoothie. They're on their health grinds, and I'm trying to get back on that too. It's good. Okay, we made it. It's the next morning. We did the road trip in two days. I didn't vlog a lot of it because we're just getting up early, not even getting ready, like putting on makeup or anything, and just honestly felt so gross the whole time eating like, you know, not great road trip food. Um, but we made it to Palm Springs. Monica got the keys to her house. And so we are about to go over and go see it. The moving truck gets here tomorrow. So they're gonna stop here first, drop some stuff off. Then I'm gonna head over to my apartment in LA and get my stuff. There's a lot of stuff I have to unpack actually, so much. Some of it I'm gonna have to sell. Like, I don't think I can fit everything, but 
I'm excited to get settled. I think that'll be great, but it's also really nice to be here in Palm Springs and I can just come over here whenever, so that's super fun too. But yeah, let's go see Monica's house. I'm not gonna vlog it though. I'll vlog like my reaction, but I won't show it because I'm sure she'll just wanna put it on her channel. So you guys can check it out if you want. I think, wait, actually she already showed the whole thing, so maybe I'll show a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like she'll wanna save that for her channel. I have everything set up now for my apartment, but I have other stuff I need to do today, like edit this vlog, plan out my next videos. I have not uploaded on my main channel in this will be two weeks, but I just decided like while I'm moving and trying to situate everything, I'm just going to not upload for that time on my main channel because it would just be rushed. It wouldn't be that good if I was, you know, I don't even know what I'd be able to shoot while I was apartment hunting and all of that. So after that, we'll get back on it, get back on the workout grind. I want to get a workout in today for sure. Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to see Monica's new house. Um, the dogs don't get to come. I want to show you guys the key so bad, but apparently you're not supposed to do that. All right, I'm in the house, but I won't spoil it. So go to Monica's channel to check it out. I'm hyped that their new place has tennis courts that aren't open to the public. So they'll be pretty available. I love the in-ground hot tub. Big fan. Their house is going to be awesome. Their furniture will get here tomorrow. And I can't wait to visit. Okay, you guys. I finished editing the vlog up until this point. I need to vlog the rest of the day. And then it will be actually finished. But I pretty much finished it. And now I'm going to go to the gym. I really have not gone in a while. Like over a week. So I don't feel like it. But whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. Love Dad Church? Hi. How's the Palm Springs life? Oh, it's really good. I gotta say. It's great, yes. You got a little marg there? Yeah, this time of year is just like the best. The, the days are hot, but not too hot. Mm -hmm. Very little wind. Uh -huh. I noticed the gym was way busier than when I was dog sitting in June. Or was it? Oh, you're crazy, Dad. He really said shots. Oh, it's like candy. What? What is it? What the heck? It's so sweet. <laughs> heck no. What is it? Oh. It's 